publicity shy, with a few rare exceptions, and this is one of them. It's an issue that unites him and his ex-wife Ivana in a shared campaign against transparency, namely a court fight over keeping their divorce records sealed. G. Casares reports. The New York Times, along with Gannett Media, are asking a court to unseal the document, saying Donald J. Trump is now the 2016 Republican nominee for the office of president. The sealed records address issues directly relevant to the presidential election, such as his credibility, treatment of women, finances, litigious nature, may well shed important light on his character and capabilities during an important period in his life. Unsealing them would assist the American public in making an informed judgment in the presidential race. While the divorce documents may be sealed, there is plenty we do know about Trump's 13-year marriage to his first wife, Ivana. The couple was married in 1977 and led a very public life while building their brand and raising their three children, Donald Jr., Eric, and Ivanka. All seemed well until this. Ivana in Aspen with her husband during the 1989 winter holidays. She overheard a conversation Donald was having with a friend about Marla Maples. His then girlfriend was also on the ski slopes of Colorado when the two actually came face to face. As Trump told ABC in 1994, we were actually standing near the restaurant getting ready to put skis on. And I was standing there like an idiot. And Marla and Ivana were here. From that point on, the gloves were off. A divorce action was filed and the tabloids had their covers. She wanted half and he wanted to honor nuptial agreements. They eventually settled. In response to the current court action, attorneys for Ivana say she wants her family life kept private and confidential, saying the newspaper giants are on a fishing expedition, grasping for information that more often appears in tabloids. But not everything at the time was for public display. Ivana alleged during a divorce deposition that her husband had raped her in 1989. The accusation was first revealed in the 1993 book by former Newsweek reporter Harry Hurt III, Lost Tycoon, The Many Lives of Donald J. Trump. As the book was close to publication, Ivana composed a statement ultimately printed on the book's first page. I felt violated as the love and tenderness which he normally exhibited toward me was absent. I refer to this as a rape, but I do not want my words to be interpreted in a literal or criminal sense. Trump has denied the accusation. Ivana commented again on the accusation as rumors swirled last year after Trump announced his candidacy. The story is totally without merit. Donald and I are the best of friends and together have raised three children that we love and are very proud of. I have nothing but fondness for Donald and wish him the best of luck on his campaign. Attorneys for Donald Trump say unbridled disclosure is not required or even expected of political candidates, and it is not the responsibility of the courts. They cite as an example President Obama not releasing his academic records and Secretary Clinton not revealing her full medical records, even though her medical condition is being raised as an issue in the current campaign. Jean Casares, CNN, New York. All right, we'll be right back.